Hi guys, good morning. It's Wednesday, June 6. We've hit the middle of the week and there's so much going on in fashion. So let's jump right in. Mary Kate Olsen went brunette. Our blonde twins, one of them now has the darker hue hair and it looks fantastic, you guys. So she debuted at the CFDA Awards, which we all know was a big night in fashion. And she wore her own label, The Row, with her brunette hair parted down the middle, just really sleek, really straight. You guys, it looks great. I love it. I think it's a great change on her. And it kind of mixes the two of them up, so you kind of have opposites a little bit. Since they're always together, I think it makes for like great pictures. Is that weird? But um, the light really reflected off her hair. She looked great. I think it really, I just think it really just up the ante a little bit for Mary Kate. So love the brunette. I mean, hello, love the dark hues. I used to be platinum blonde, but that's a whole other story. And moving on, Leighton Meester is covering Lucky Magazine and looking phenomenal as usual. The Gossip Girl star has the best style. She was on the carpet at uh, the premiere for That's My Boy in this gorgeous tie-dye frock by Versus. I mean, so into it. But in the magazine, she talks about how in the magazine, she talks about how Gossip Girl has totally changed her style. So she says, quote, My friend says that before the show, I dressed like a homeless person. I used to buy everything at garage sales. It was hard to give up. I'd be like, but this crazy sweater is amazing and it only costs 25 cents. I've learned from Blair though. Now I like to pepper in something designer with my usual stuff. So we can all learn from Blair, the high-low philosophy that a lot of people love. But I mean, if you can find a 25 cent sweater, why not? I feel the same way, Leighton. But I do love your style now. You really look fantastic on the show and off screen as well. But anyways, Leighton also talks about her makeup routine in the Mac to the magazine. She says, I've stopped wearing makeup when I'm not working. For a while I thought I had dark circles and bad skin. And then I realized I was seeing myself that way because I didn't recognize myself anymore without makeup. Now when I wear it, I think I look really weird. So we can all take cues from Leighton there and just downplay the makeup, especially during summer when you're getting a little bit of extra color and a little bit of extra sun, then you can kind of tone down the makeup a little bit. A little tan goes a long way in the makeup world. So that's it for Leighton covering Lucky Magazine. Love your cover and love your interview. Love you, Leighton. Come on. Glamour Magazine, we talked about Julianne Huff covering the mag yesterday, but they came out with an article that I thought was really, really interesting. It's all about what guys don't want you to wear on a first date. Um, I think there's 16, but I picked out a few of my favorite that I was like, what? Who knew? So the first one is anything too revealing, which I think that's a good one, pretty obvious. We know that guys are like, they don't wanna see that on the first date. Leave something to the imagination, you know? But at the same time, they also said they don't want you to wear a turtleneck. So turtlenecks are no, anything too revealing is a no. So find that middle ground and you're good to go. Another thing that these guys said is they don't wanna see you in shoes that look uncomfortable. Hello, most of our shoes are uncomfortable, but at least pick ones that look like you can walk in and you can look like your feet aren't killing you inside. Another thing that they said, huge purses. Now, this is a big problem for me. I love a big Mary Poppins bag and it's not anything, I don't really know why I love it. I think I like to be able to have everything. So if I'm going on a date and something, I mean, you never know what might happen. You've gotta have your makeup. So I think I like big bags that you can't really see what's in them. But for a guy, that's a no, according to this Glamour article. So, girls, take your clutches or take your medium-sized bags when you're going on that first date. Another thing guys said is too much makeup, which I feel like that's per the usual. And another thing, something that you haven't worn before. But I would know this, I mean, if you're going on a date with a guy, they have no idea what your closet looked like before, but what they can tell is if you feel comfortable in it or not. So I thought that was a good tip. So ladies, Glamour Magazine's got those tips, so you can go find them online at their website, glamour.com. Find the full article and get all the details on what not to wear on a first date. And in other news, Miley Cyrus is engaged. Can you guys believe it? I'm so Happy for her and Liam, and I can't wait to get a pic of that ring. It's like a 3.5 carat Neil Diamond. Hello, gorgeous. I mean, she's marrying, marrying Liam, and she has this gorgeous ring to go with it. I mean, 
not too shabby, good guy, great ring, done and done. But we are talking about other wedding news, actually talking about Drew Barrymore's wedding dress. So she got married over the weekend last weekend in a custom gown by Chanel. Carl Lagerfeld himself designed this dress, you guys, and it looks fantastic on Drew. The pictures are on the cover of People Magazine. So this dress is a, like I said, custom made Chanel. So the skirt is embroidered with flowers and organza tulle and feathers. So intricate, you guys, but you wouldn't expect anything else from Carl Lagerfeld. There's a black satin belt at the waistline that accentuates not only her waist, but her baby bump because she is pregnant. And that glow definitely is showing through in the photos that we're seeing on People Magazine of the dress. So I'm so excited for Drew. And I mean, that dress will go down in history. A custom made Chanel wedding gown. Hello. Can't wait to see what Miley's gonna wear in her wedding. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder who her designer is gonna be. Oh, another thing Drew did. I'm just all over the place today. It's Wednesday. It's almost halfway, it is halfway through the week. Drew also wore a Chanel veil, which she got with her BFF, Cameron Diaz. And she also wore vintage Chanel jewelry to like round out the whole look, which it totally did. Looked gorgeous next to her hubby. And last but not least, Kelly Clarkson talks to Red Book about her weight loss. You guys, I can't believe it. It's been 10 years since Kelly Clarkson won American Idol. And what was that movie? Like from, from Kelly to, who was she in that movie with? Another crazy American Idol haired guy. She's on the cover of the magazine talking about weight loss. So she's lost, I think, around 30 pounds, which is awesome. It's always great to be healthy, but she does say something that, according to our culture, is just so out there, but it's so real and it's so healthy. And she says, I do cardio, I run, I strength train using my own body weight. I don't like free weights because I build muscle easily. Really, what I try to instill in my fans is to be healthy and happy. I have no desire to be super skinny, which we all need to take a clue from. It's all about being healthy and it's not about being thin. So hit the gym, eat right, and then you'll have the body that you want without being detrimental to your physical well-being. So, way to go, Kelly. Love her on duets. Are you guys watching this show? Fantastic. That's all I got for you in fashion world. It's kind of slow, but kind of not. I mean, big headline. Miley's engaged. Can't get over it. Really can't. I can't wait to see dress. I mean, that's enough. I'm not going to say it again. But I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Bye.